I'm Appie Sluis and you are watching PNN. We have just finished all drilling activities at our first site. But still, the scientists are working day and night to unravel the secrets of the sediments that we've just drilled. Now, let's ask the captain where we will face our next challenge. Today on Captain's Log. Uh, this is the captain of the Joinage Resolution. This is sea date 31. We've just gotten underway and are sailing to our new location about 320 miles away. So we'll be getting a little closer to the equator and uh, maybe a little bit warmer, I don't know. Life out here is uh, quite normal, quite laid back, nothing exciting to report. I did uh, do my daily walk on the heli deck and uh, we sailed past a big sea turtle. I stopped and looked at him and he looked at me. So that's about as exciting as it gets out here right now. <laughs> So we're not drilling, and there's hardly any activity in any of the sediment labs. Well, this is a funny tool. So what is, what is, what is it all happening on this ship right now? It seems to be really quiet. Let's see. Well, it seems that there is uh, certainly a lot of activity here. Um, what's your name? Hi, I'm Louise Anderson. And what do you do? I'm one of the logging staff scientists here. Logging, what does that mean? Um, logging, it's when we put uh, long tools down the borehole. You put a tool down the borehole, what does that mean? We, I thought we were here to drill cores. We are, we are, but we're also here to take measurements so we get a nice continuous um, record um, up hole. Ah, I see. And, and what, what's your name? Alberto Malinverno. And what do you do? I'm also a logging staff scientist, we're the logging team. Ah, I see, but what's, what's the real reason that you do this logging? Well, we get all of these measurements. They're the same measurements that we take on the cores, but these are continuous. So sometimes the cores have a missing piece here and there, and we can complete the record. I see. That sounds very important indeed. So much for our logging update for this week. Today on Who's That Guy? Yeah, I'm Sam McClellan. I'm a tool pusher for Transocean offshore deep water drilling. Uh, my job on board is to interface with the drilling department and the other drilling equipment managers on board, Tim McCown, the OIM, and the other supervisors to uh, keep the drilling operations running and uh, running up to speed. We're in the drilling business, but we don't actually drill. We core. So that's where the change is in the situation. And the difference for us with the coring side is you're not drilling for the pay zone, you're drilling for the scientists, and you're trying to make a difference to achieve what they want to achieve. In the drilling business, you're shooting for the pay zone, get the oil and gas as safe and quickly as possible. And us, we're trying to do it as safely as possible, but uh, sometimes it's not always quick. You, uh, sometimes you have to take a step back or slow things down or re redirect your uh, thoughts and decisions to try to achieve the best objectives. I uh, enjoy what I do, so I'd like to continue doing it because uh, it's made a great uh, scope in my life and it's, it's filled the niche that I was looking for in my life. Welcome to our science update. We have co-chief Isabella Raffi here. Let's ask her what we've done at the first site. Isabella, what have we done at the first site? Well, we drilled four holes. Uh, three of them uh, were very well went down to the basement and we got a complete section of uh, sediments from 23 something million years up to today. So what, what does it give us for possibility? A lot of very nice material for making our study and try to reconstruct the paleoclimatic history of this area, which is important, as we are all know, for the paleoclimatic history in the global sense. Excellent. So much for our science update. Thank you very much, Isabella. Well, that sounds like we'll have a lot more work to do after this cruise. Let's see. Ah, our weather update. Katrien, tell us all about it. Thank you, Happy. Here is your weather report for June the 7th, 33 million years ago. We had a very strong cooling over the past 10 million years, which had very unexpected effects. Our station in Antarctica became covered by white, fluffy, cold things falling out from the sky. Yet, we don't know what it is, but it might be something chemical. Today will be another cold day with coastal temperature in Antarctic barely reaching 13 degrees and only 28 degrees in the tropical Pacific. So don't forget your coat if you plan to go out today. This was your weather report of the week. See you in the next 10 million years. Well, 
Funny white stuff, huh? How about that? Well, so much for our news update for this week. And remember, we are the Equatorial Pacific's only source of news. This is BNN, live from the Pacific.